Section one in the way, well, Tommy Emmanuel plays it, not nearly in the way. I'll explain that to you a little bit later. But let's start here and try to play it the best way we can. We start with the open E string, and I do this lesson because Tommy explains it himself. You can find it, Guitar Boogie Explanation, go on YouTube. But well, he does it, uh, in my opinion quite fast so I try to slow it down we start this is a good exercise for the right hand to play down up down up all the time and we start with the E string and slide into the fourth fret of the deep E string so down up and well when I watch Tommy and Emmanuel playing I always see that when he plays single notes, his flag falls onto the next string. This is something that is typical for gypsy guitar players, as I've, well, tried to find out. But it is uh, not the way I played all my life, so I would have to learn that. But I think it is a way to play faster. Maybe these people could explain it. I can't do that at the moment. So once again, let's start with the... Open E string, slide into the 4th fret, go to the 2nd uh, go to the second fret of the A string, to the 4th fret of the A string, then we go to the D string. 2nd fret of the D string. Then we go back. 4th fret of the A string, 2nd fret of the A string, play it again up to that point, and now we have, in the way Tommy plays it, um, a hammer on from the 3rd fret of the E string to the 4th fret, a down stroke, and the upstroke is on the A string, on the second fret of the A string. Once again, the whole motif, the whole theme. And in the second part, he goes to the fifth fret. I played on a little bit at this, at this part here. Yeah, let me do it again. again and slide into the fifth fret here on the A string and do the same thing again as at the at the end of the first theme here. So this is the first part, the four, tr uh, the four bars on the E. The whole thing is in E major. Once again, let us do it, let us do it again. this I always wonder how Tommy Emmanuel gets this groove because even if you play the same notes the same feeling the way he grooves is a little bit different watch him and maybe you can find out in that way I think I cannot help you I always am really very astounded what is it astonished yeah I really am surprised the way what you can do with only a single note melody I could get the groove onto that. Yeah, let me play it again. Try. I try the best I can. Maybe you can play along. Oh, one, two, three, four. 
string in the second fret and a pull off. We we'll go to the fourth fret on the D string second fret and play this hammer on thing again. Let me do the second part. Okay, slowly again. This part, the bass line. Slowly. So use the correct fingering. Two, four, five, four, two on the A string. string, four on the E string, then two on the A string. Once again the section. Again. Then we start on the third fret, hammer on with a down stroke. Play the upstroke for the second fret on the A. Then he plays an E, E7, and ends like this. Let me do it again. are, well, there are seven niners, I would say. Um, middle finger on the third fret of the E string, first finger on the second fret of the D string, like this, ring finger on the third fret of the G string, pinky on the third fret of the B string. We mute E string, the thin E string and the A string. So this is what the chord sounds like. And we go to the from the third fret to the second fret. And this is the first section. Listen again. I think that nearly everybody can play if he or she practices enough. As a beginner I think you can play it as an advanced player but to get the groove that Tommy does is as I said really difficult. Watch him play this and uh, well I hope this helped you a little bit. Maybe there are some people who can uh, put on YouTube a little video with this section and try to explain well exactly the groove that Tommy Place, maybe they found out. Okay, have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.